the ascension is as much as the happy ending of our life in this world. This Sunday, we celebrate the solemnity of the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His ascension, we see Jesus enter fully into the very life and the glory of the almighty ever-living God, His Father. The Gospel tells us that with His return to the Father, Jesus completed His mission on earth. Right just before the ascension, He entrusted to His disciples the mission of preaching the good news and evangelizing the whole world by witnessing to Him through their lives. However, I would like to focus on one particular saying of St. Luke in his Gospel, chapter 24, verse 52. After Jesus was taken up to heaven, his disciples returned to Jerusalem with great joy, with great joy. There can be at least four different reasons why the disciples were so joyful. First, they were joyful because they knew they were not really losing Jesus. He assured them, as we heard last Sunday, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Second, they were joyfully because they were happy for him, and they loved him enough not to envy his return to the Father. Jesus said to them, If you truly love me, you would rejoice to have me go to the Father. Third, they were joyful because there were better things ahead, something to be wonderful. There was the Holy Spirit. Though they didn't understand yet, they trusted. Jesus told them, It is better for you that I go, for if I don't, the Holy Spirit will not come to you. Fourth and the last, they were joyful because they knew one day they would be with Jesus forever. He assured them, I am going to get a place ready for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. In summary, the disciples would have had no joy if they thought only on an earthly level their separation from Jesus, and so would we. But now, what is ascension for you and for me? The ascension we celebrate is indeed a preview of God's plan for all of us. Our life in this world continues to go on in the very life we share with the Father in heaven. We share in God's life in a glorious way after we complete our life in this world. Pope Francis said, the ascension of Jesus into heaven acquaints us with this deeply consoling reality on our journey. In Christ, through God and through man, our humanity was taken up to God. Christ opened the path to us. If we entrusted our life to Him, we will let ourselves be guided by Him and we certainly be safe hands in the hands of our Savior. In addition, Pope Benedict XVI wrote, It would be a mistake to interpret the ascension as the temporary absence of Christ from the world. Rather, we go to heaven to the extent that we go to Jesus Christ and enter into Him. Heaven is a person. Jesus Himself is what we call heaven. Is it beautiful, isn't it? To conclude, Indeed, our new way of seeing Jesus gives us new faith, new hope, and new love. And we could only rejoice in this new faith, new hope, new love that fills us. Therefore, the ascension is as much as the happy ending of our life in this world if we remain one with Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hallelujah.